I have one of our gospel tracts in my hand. And again, a gospel tract is just simply a written presentation of God's plan of salvation. This one's entitled, The Best I Can. The Best I Can. I rarely read a tract. Let me read a good part of this. I like this tract. It's one of my favorite tracts. Do you know why? Well, let me tell you. There's five reasons why this tract, The Best I Can, is one of my favorites. Reason number one, it is so simple. Reason number two, the print size is a little a little bigger. Reason number three, this track is so simple. Reason number four, the gospel illustration is so very clear. And then reason number five, can you guess what it is? This track is so simple. It's entitled The Best I Can. Let me tell you how the track begins. It says this, a man standing by New York Harbor suddenly declares, I'm going to swim to London. Then he plunges into the water, heading for open sea. You shout to him, hey, you won't get to London that way. Oh, yes, I will. I'm sure I'll make it. And you say to him, what makes you so certain? He says, I'm doing the best I can. Well, friend, he probably is doing the best, but 3,000 miles of chilling waters, deep rolling seas, fierce winds, angry storms, and a few thousand vicious sharks make it rather impossible for him to reach England by swimming. But then a wealthy man witnessing the whole scene offers to freely give the swimmer a plane ticket to London. He can board the jet plane, relax, and enjoy the trip. There is now no need for him to strive to reach his destination by vain efforts. At this point in the track, we shift from the story to the reader. Here's what it says. Are you sincerely saying, I'm doing the best I can to get to heaven? It's written in the Bible, there is none righteous, no, not one, and all have sinned. Suppose you are doing your best, that is not enough. God says all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Only God's grace and mercy saves us. Titus 3.5 says, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saves us. Friend, there is just one way to heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He died for sinners at Calvary, rose again, and is now alive in a real glorified body of flesh and bone, exalted at God's right hand. Your part is to receive the Lord as your Savior. Could the swimmer make it to London by doing his best? No, his intentions are hopeless. And your best is not good enough to gain entrance into heaven either. But like the wealthy man who bought the plane ticket, so Jesus Christ purchased salvation for us, paid with his precious blood.